Hey, I want to show you this thing called Data Pasta. So I found it on Twitter, and I thought it's a pretty cool library. And uh, let me just show you what it does real quick. Okay, so I have to get that. So this is the library, and this is from a CSV file. You copy that from the add-in. You can paste that into a uh, as a Tribal as a uh, data frame. Okay, so this is. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through the installation process, and let's, uh, let's let's make make something useful from with the library. Okay, so you do that by going to um, make sure that you install the package. So this is the package name Data Pasta. Put that in. Okay, and I'm gonna run it on the console. Okay, and now it's done. All right. So once you've done installing uh, the package, you should find it in the add-ins. Okay, you should see it here. It says data frame. Um, now let's do something useful with it. I'm gonna go find some data to work with. Um, let's just go to standard.co.uk. Let me just copy some data. Let's just say. Let's just say from here. Um, can be from here all the way down. Actually, I don't need all of that. Um, let's take a look at. Let's let's just do the first then. Okay, something like that, right? And obviously, I you know you can copy that. Uh, Command C, Control C, or you can just right click, um, Control C. And now I'm back in our studio. See what happens is you can just paste this data frame. And well, this is not going to be a lot useful unless you assign it to a variable. And done. Now you see EPL. Um, let's take a look at the first few rows of data. And you see, there you have all of the table formatted nicely as a data frame. Pretty cool, right? So, this is the URL, github.com. Um, you, you know, or you could just Google data pasta, go to the GitHub, uh, there's the instructions on how you use it. You see, you can copy, uh, you know, just HTML tables from CSV, from Excel, and just paste them as a, a, a data frame or paste them as a vector and those are pretty cool um, things that should speed up uh, you know some aspect of your workflow all right so i hope you find it uh, informative go ahead give it a try and i'll talk to you soon